Last time on Super Paper Mario, we left Mario in this weird daze as we try to figure out where this jungle is. I'm your host, Anon42, and this great adventure and well high is the dialogue, so I'll just continue. And it's some weird black guy. And no, I'm not racist. Hey, new face, so tell me, first time down here in the underwear? Oh, haha, ha, very funny pun. Ha, just a little joke. People don't arrive here twice. Ha 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 ha. Yada yada. Huh? What'd you say? What's the underwear? You're kidding, right? Man, for a guy with no extra lives, you're sure hilarious. Isn't it obvious? This is where people go when their games are over. Some call it World Negative One. There's a lot of Mario references. So how'd your game end, anyway? Poison one up? Bad jump? Or did someone... What? You say your game's not over? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I've heard that before. Denial. Always the first step. Maybe you just need to hear it from Queen Jade's. She's the scariest thing in the underwear, and that is saying something. She rules over us shades. I guess. And she'll tell you straight, your game is over. So apparently, we're dead. Yep, that's right. Just dead. If you stand in this fountain, I'm pretty sure you heal, but since I'm not in bad shape, then I have nothing to heal with. And no point in healing. You can. Uh, do be, do be, do. Remember her face, because she's going to be semi-important later. Oh me, I wonder if I shall meet my most special someone this day. Surely he is a prince of countenance fair, pining even now to meet me. Quickly, my loving prince, fly to me. Pray what call has... Pray what call hast thou to stare at me so? Didst thou hear me pine for an old mustachioed fatty? Be gone! That is one pissed off Asian. Angel. <laughs> I don't know why I said Asian. I am Asian. Don't call me racist. So you can still go 3D. That's basically how you get through this stuff. And watch out for flying embers unlike me because I was stupid enough to do that. So, haha. Uh -huh. Good for me. I think I can jump this. No, I can't. I'm smart. Okay, obviously that's not working. So obviously I did something wrong. I need a minute. Alright, I need to cross here and not hit the spikes. Uh, okay, so I'm being an idiot because I haven't played this for a while and I should really start playing it because I should probably end this playthrough as fast as I can. Here's a Super Shroom Shake. Do what I just did. Please. And you can cross this river if you pay this guy four coins and go on a gondola ride. Not romantic like anyone would think. Or you can do what I do and just jump into this poisoned lake and jump, jump, and jump. And no, it's not really poisoned. I'm this purple. What do you think it's going to be? Jumping is probably actually faster and you don't lose money, so I would suggest doing that, but I don't care if you take the gondola ride all by yourself in the lonely place. There's like small devils here and shades and everything. And who is this? You, what business have you with me? I'm Queen Jades, mistress of the underwear, ruler of those with ended games. Here in this place your sins from your time among the living are weighed. If your sins are right enough, the bliss of the over there will be yours. If not, you suffer for eternity among the game over. Now let's weigh your sins. Hmm, a sense of strange energy. Have you brought something strange into the underwear by chance? And it's the stoned pure heart. And no, the 
pure heart is not druggy. What is this? No, no, it could not be, but how? It is badly damaged, yes, but what you hold is a pure heart. Who exactly are you to have a pure heart, and what has happened to it? Oh wait, that is my phone. Sorry, I have to take this. So rude. Talking on her cell phone while we're talking. Apparently someone's missing. Just great. Just what I need. I am already short-handed. What am I going to do? Oh, perhaps you can help. That phone call I received just now, it was the king of the over there, Granby. One of the NIMBYs vanished from the over there and he asked me to look for her. But I cannot abandon my duties here in the palace, and my D-men are all busy. So those devils are D-men. That works. So it must fall to you. Will you search for this missing person in my place? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you so very much. I apologize for asking this of you, but it would really help. The name of the missing NIMBY is Lovebee. Oh, and what is your name? Oh, I'm Mario. Mario! Well, Mario, may I hold on to this pure heart while you are busy searching? She just takes the pure heart. You. Worry not, I just want to look. I will return it when you return with love, B. And in its place, allow me to give you this. And it's a door key. Word has reached me that someone has fallen into the river Twigs. Some said it was a strange fellow dressed in green, but that could not be Love B. Still, just in case, I would suggest that you check there first. This key will open a door to the underground waterways beneath the river Twigs. Please, I must ask that you search the area thoroughly. Search the area thoroughly. Stupid speech. So, some green guy, wink wink, fell into the river Twigs. Once again, terrible pun. So, this purple liquid is actually the liver tw river twigs. I need to start speaking more. And when you jump in here, you see these creepy hands. This is like the creepiest part of the game, in my opinion. They do one damage, and that's just freaky. I do not like being in this river. It's like the scariest piece of crap I've ever seen. So, when you go 3D, you'll find a trap place, like I did. Use the door key and the door down here, and Mario can breathe underwater, just like everyone else can. And once you go through the door, you will be faced with this puzzle, and this creepy hand again, because I hate it so very much. Push this block down here, and pull on this lever. Or, imagine pull on the lever just like Mario did. After that, you should be able to break these blocks and then pull on the lever again to refill the area with water. Because Mario can do that, apparently. So, swim up. Yeah, I'm basically just telling you how to do this no interest whatsoever 3d did you find a secret passage no way oh by the way i didn't say anything but well it's probably obvious stupid hand but yeah you don't have the you don't have your pixels or tippy anymore they are gone because you're dead and nobody cares about you when you're dead and pixels don't die, I guess, because they live for like a thousand years just waiting for you. What a boring life. I think, yeah, you go 3D here, and then you want to go through this gap right here, and push this block down so that you can get back up. You can then pull on this lever. And really, I've forgotten what I'm supposed to do next, because I'm a very smart person. And I guess those hands can't survive in non-water places, so they disappear, that block 
reveals a ladder. There's a pipe and a door here. I think this pipe only leads to coins. Something like that. Yep, and I was right. This is useless, yay, 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 but money is good, so I'm gonna keep collecting. You wanna keep collecting money throughout the game, like I keep on saying. I don't know why I bought that pipe, I could've just been cutting back and forth in places. So you wanna jump on these geysers to come up here, and someone is trapped. Who could it be? Well, I'll tell you in the next video, because I've run out of time. I'll see you later.